It's a typical Italian dish, it's served with just tomato sauce and basil. And uh, as you can see, they're all made by hands. You just turn them around to the edge in order to allow them to catch a little bit more sauce. Touch of egg yolks, this fits in there, and the turns like that. You can understand that, you know, visually as well, it's almost like a, you know, it's a design, isn't it? So the sauce will get grabbed into the edges here when it's cooked. So when you're eating your ravioli, you're not only just eating the ravioli, but you're actually eating the ravioli with the sauce that will come with that. Giorgio Locatelli, La Camde Locatelli, how many years now? Seven. Seven. Seven years, yeah. It's gone quickly, huh? Eh? <laughs> Hard work, eh? How many staff do you have in the kitchen? I have in total in the restaurant, I have 73 staff. 73? Yeah, but I operate seven days a week and we don't close for holiday, just for the bank holiday. Yeah. So happy team. It's very important to have an happy team because, you know, you're nothing, you know, what is a restaurant without a good team in it? It's just a room with chairs and tables, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, the most important thing is the people who work in it. The way they work in, the way they look at you, the way they talk to you, how much you train them. And, you know, we have this sort of a family, sort of orientated restaurant. We all eat together. We don't have like such a this ceremonial meeting between managers and the staff. But everybody sits for lunch and dinner together and things get discussed there. The idea is doing some grissini. So the dough is very, very soft. As you can see, it's the last thing of the day that we do. That's a, this is our motto, which is our baker. We start this morning at 6 o'clock, and now it's finished, so like it's 1 o'clock. It's going to be going by a minute. That's the last thing he does. And uh, so they're all cooked on the oven, and uh, as you can see, he puts them all one by one. So when you come to the restaurant, you eat one the seed, you know, that somebody's been just pulling it. I mean, I think, I'm sure the people think that they're made by machines or things like that. And in factory, they are made by machines, but I don't know. I think this is, these are the best grissini that, you know, I ever tasted. How many covers do you have? We do about 190 to 210 a day, uh -huh. but we are very constant. We're really, really regular. We just do them every single day of the year. Uh, menu here, mm. just talk me through it, because it's an ever-changing menu. You tend to use obviously seasonal produce, mm. but you do have a lot of Italian produce. Mm. Tell me, tell me why but that's. The idea is really to reflect. You know, Ital Italian cooking is not really about uh, the creativity of the chef. It's much more about the actually raw ingredients than the surround the era where they produced. But we'll bring in some stuff in on a weekly basis and when we can. We're using a lot of the English ingredients as well. I mean, there is certain dishes that they are considered our signature dish. I don't know, like the scallops. When Italian people come here to eat, they always eat our scallops with the saffron vinaigrette. And, you know, they are amazed about the size of the scallops. And those scallops is only scallops that you can find in Northern England and Ireland. So, you know, if anything, we are a bit like a, a fusion restaurant, you know, because we're using a lot of the English ingredients. All our greens, all our salads are grown in England and brought in by us. Sometimes we go the length to bring in seeds, like for the rocket, we bring in the seeds ourselves from Italy and somebody in Virginia water plants them and just then bring it to us. So like, we're very proud of the bread, you know, I think there is so many restaurants of the caliber than we are, you're coming in and usually uh, you get given like a little uh, amis bouche, how they call it, or like a, something to eat, which is always, you know, it is really not an Italian way to do things. You don't get funny little bits of food before you start. So we bake all our bread in here. And so this is like a, a olive bread. And I got a, a tomato, uh, sorry, rosemary and garlic. I got some focaccia. And you know, it's like eight or different type of, 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 of bread. And they go into the same basket. The bread really is, you know, an expression of a kitchen that is vibrant from the morning. I think that the whole idea is, like you say, ever-changing menu. I cannot imagine about anything worse to write a menu two or three months ahead and not be sure that there will be a tip-top. 
ingredients to produce it. The produce is the instigator of the recipe. It's not the recipe who does that. Giorgio, thank you very, very much indeed. It's been a pleasure talking to you. A restaurant that uh, is very important to us is the pastry. In this case, this is um, Amadei chocolate, which is a chocolate made in Tuscany. And uh, so on that side there, you got some like a tiramisu. Tiramisu is more like a morning, it's like more like a morning sort of um, your know, pick me up thing. So we are lighting up that one much lighter forever after dinner. These are morici, which is like uh, blackberries that have been stewed in sugar, and uh, they serve with a bowl of ice cream and a foam, which is make a yogurt foam. Uh, I think then uh, you know again the same way like the bread. I think that you know one of the great expression of what we do is the ice cream. We always try to have uh, 14 or 16 different type of ice cream, so eight ice cream and eight uh, sorbet all together. So at the, I mean the list changes every day. They're all done fresh in the house and they all turn into a machine in the morning and they go. Now this is right time to go, otherwise it's going to melt and the voice is taking it out. Yes.